Hey everyone, this is Peter247 from Project Ghost with another War Dragons Diary. So the last trading post came out today. I'm just gonna open it up here for you. There we go. Sorry, it's a bit slow loading. So the last trading post is up. Um, it's actually a lot better than it has been for the last couple days. I will start with the bottom. First of all, with the timers, 450 sigils for 15, well, essentially 30 days of timers. That's actually not that bad. Definitely, if you can afford this amount of sigils, um, I would definitely go for it. I'm probably not going to get it. Um, as tempting as it is, but essentially 30 days is pretty much one full tower upgrade. So you're basically spending 450 sigils for one upgrade. And with the upcoming, um, with the upcoming tower level increase, three levels on each tower, this could, you could greatly benefit from this. I may get a couple. We'll see what I decide um but um definitely it is something you could think about now on that note if you look at the um draconic chest payouts i'm just going to check this here and we look at the mythic um, possibilities um there's a possibility i could get 50 days worth of timers um from this but it looks like the timers it is a pretty good deal for what you could possibly get so if you are planning on hoping for timers from the draconic chests it's probably cheaper to get it through this so i actually might get a few of these um i'll circle back to it um with regards to the xp boosts and the xp potions waste of sigils you can just run Invader, and if you have the time to do it, you don't really need any of these. It just means you have to do a couple extra runs instead. Invader will give you more than enough experience. Uh, inner Fires, um, I actually don't think they are worth the 250 sigils. I would rather roll the dice on the Draconic Chests and hope to get what I need from that. And with... Uh, shards yes if you really need dark shards and you don't want the earth shards um you could get this it's almost a fair trade but um still once again if you've got castles and you can farm the shards do so or you can get the shards instead of the elite gear and not worry about this so you may think i don't need earth shards now and I need the dark shards now, but in the end, um, a time will come that you do need the earth shards and you will be essentially throwing away 1,000 of one type of shard to get the other. So it's just one thing to think about. And lastly, you have the platinum chests. Um, so five platinum chests for 600 sigils. So if you look at the payout uh, for these um it's actually not bad i'm actually going to get all five of these that's 25 chests and it's going to cost me 3,000 sigils and i'm going to open them right now just so we see what i get um i know i may regret this trading post it's always a stumper for me but anyways um i got the five sets i got all 25 and i'm now i'm going to open all 25 of them and as always i'm going to hope and hope for um elemental embers or sigils from this um so let's hope for the best so open all 25 platinum chests please okay I didn't get, well, I got a couple sigils. I got 400 sigils for it. So it did cost me 2,600 sigils. Uh, but if you look at it, I got 50,000 elemental embers. And that in itself is worth this pull. Um, elemental embers, especially with the new levels coming out, it's something that I do want to have. So I am content with what I got there. 
And now I'm going to claim the one extra one and boom. Fire shards. What a waste of a pull. So um, anyways, so I've got the 20,000 here. Um, let's see where we stand. 16. Not bad. So this is the one thing I'm just contemplating on. It is very tempting. Let me just check to see how many temp um, timers I do have. Being done the Atlas season, um, I am running a bit low, especially since Fort had just finished. Um, so I am a bit low, so I actually think I might get these. But that's 9,000 sigils that it would cost me for that. Um, fortification just finished. I think that's one of the reasons I'm so low. So I actually think I'm going to buy those um, and just pretend that I was pulling them at, from Draconic Chests specifically for that. And then to, you know, stay away from t further temptation, I'm going to use all of my uh, things. Okay, so here at the trading post, I'm actually going to buy these now. Um, because come to think of it, I'm looking at <coughs> possibly the um, using more sigils. It'll probably cost me a total of 1,250 sigils uh, to get less timers if that's what I'm focused on. So I am actually thinking that these timers are worth it. So... It's going to hurt a bit, but with Fort coming up and the thought of probably wanting to get more, um, get another kill island, I'm just going to get them and roll the dice there. Lastly, I'm just going to go in here and to not fall into further temptation, I am going to buy all of my draconic chests, spend the rest of my sigils there. So there we go. So I can still buy it 124 more times. Um, I am contemplating opening up some super sigil chest. As you can see here, I have 53,000. So why not let's go and open that now. So wish me luck guys, wish me luck. Because I really want those Draconic Chests. Once again, the reason I'm so focused on wanting the Draconic Chests is so that I will be able to um, I want the Draconic Chests for the Inners is what I'm mainly focusing on. Also the breeding um, items that I could possibly get from it. So as we all know, the other day I opened up 20 of those chests, which got me through the sequence a bit more. So if I hit the 5,000 payout, I am going to stop for a bit. So I'm just going to open up this. Please mate, don't make me regret this. Okay. I want 5,000 or 2,000. Please, oh, there's a 500. I hope I'm not going to regret this. So maybe a couple more. In the end, I am op opening 100 of these. So One thousand. That's not bad. So I've probably opened up enough chests that I can probably see where in the sequence I am. Um, I did get the sequence from um, somebody in our alliance. They posted it in our command chat. So I will be checking that out later today. Ugh. So I think I'm about at where I'm going to be getting. As you can see, I kind of gave up on the event. I I can't run these Guardian. They just drive me completely insane. So I kind of, I am doing them as they come up, but I'm not waking up every single time they um, do them. So I have missed a few. 
and I'm trying to save up my inner fires, etc. I don't have too many, though I will be having a lot more once the season ends as I'm getting as many draconic chests as I can. So as you can see here, I have about 200 Draconic chests. So that's going to give me a good head start uh, with the next season. The reason I don't want to open them up now is because uh, there is a possibility that I will be getting sigils from it when I open it. So yes, it's not as many as the other chests, but that's still a thousand sigils that could contribute to the initial progress through uh, the next season that comes out. But what I will do is open up my bronze chests and my gold chests. That's actually really good for a gold chest pull. So anyways, uh, thanks for all, all for watching. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Um, it will probably be a later um, vlog as we do have uh, the bubbles dropping at about 9 p.m. EST. And since it is a long weekend, I think I'll be relaxing throughout the day. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to talk about or bring up, please post them in the comments and I'll be sure to bring it up at a future date. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye for now.